good morning children uh, i hope you all are safe and taking protective measures to protect yourself yes sir so still yes, uh, you have to yes, very alert in this pandemic situation still things are not in our favor as uh, i hope that uh, the vaccination uh, vaccination will start very soon but still let us see how many of people can get this vaccination okay now children the uh, so a warm warm welcome to all of you and once again happy new year to all of you thank you sir so dear children today you, uh, i'm just going to discuss the question paper so here this is the question paper and i want to discuss the programming part all the questions from this so let us see first the question number 4 in which uh, we have to enter a number and check if it is a positive integer or zero so positive integer or zero children here in this one thing is missing that integer can be negative also positive negative this is the name of the class and uh, after that uh, what you need to do is uh, just uh, the main method and here you have to take this number num uh, take scanner class so here what to do is uh, enter number num so this is a uh, now here what to do is if number is more than 0 then what it is a positive integer if it is more than 0 then it is a positive integer else if num is less than 0 so it is a negative integer here so children now one thing is that if none of the cases are true if both these conditions are false then it is zero so children this is the solution of this question so because uh, if you have written if num is greater than or equals to 0 then uh, it may be uh, it's okay but in case if number is less than 0 so you cannot use else part after the positive condition you cannot directly use else part when num is more than 0 suppose you have written if num is more than 0 it is a positive and it is a false uh, okay true but you cannot write else zero no because there is a different situation when negative integers will also come so this is what any doubt children no sir but sir i have a doubt sir if we write else num is uh, num is zero sir it can it could also be a uh, fraction or decimal but uh, here it is integer value you will input i have taken integer data type so it will not receive fractional value okay sir. for fractional values you have float or double data type so it will not receive that any other problem no sir yes sir yes ask sir since there is one statement in each of the conditions sir is it necessary to uh, put the curly brackets no we need not to put okay thank you sir so if uh, there is only one statement we need not to specify the brackets okay so now move on to question number third 
and it says that uh, it put three digit number and print the last digit number and also check whether it is greater than five or not so greater than five or not so first of all we have to extract the we have to input the number so still people are joining so just wait for two minutes see that So here, uh, question number three. So it is uh, like a main method and here int num. Here I have taken this num and then you I need to take a scanner ss new scanner just children wait so here scanner system dot in and here what to do is enter number that num now children here i have taken a variable for the last digit and it is a three digit integer i have taken this num i have taken num modulus 10 so it will directly extract the last digit and see what is next in this question and after you have extracted the last digit, also check whether the last digit is greater than 5 or not. So after you have extracted the last digit, what you need to do, simply you check that if the last digit is more than 5. So here, uh, the last digit is more than five the last digit is more than five else the last digit is not more than five any doubt children so simply here you can just input the number like uh, suppose you have entered uh, the three digit number three five seven and you have extracted the last digit one more thing you can do after you have extracted the last digit you just print the last digit also the last digit is last is it so here you can do the same uh, i hope you have understood children so here it is four five six and the last digit is six this is how you people can do so your approach should be like this class eighth sir no doubt anybody else no sir no okay now uh, next is uh, web to uh user's choice based question and which uh, choice one choice two and invalid input square root and square of the number this is a good question this is question number i think it is two question number two yes so just go through that and just make question number two. Children, here are some user choices are there. So first of all, we have to take a variable that will receive the user's choice. And along with you need a number num. And here for the square root, you have got this variable. Children, always remember that square root you cannot. Square root you cannot store with an integer data type
you cannot store square root in an integer data type so scanner says new scanner and here it is like uh, and after that what to do is just enter the number so enter number and that is uh, num is ss dot next int uh looking uh, but one more thing before that you need to put the display the user's choice so first of all you have to just write choice one square root and choice two square choice two is a square i hope you have understood and now other yes, choices sir. will come and that is choice is one if choice is one then this is what else if choice is two again you need to input the number else you need to input wrong choice here you have to calculate the square so num into that num square is that is sq and here you need to find out the square root so that is math dot sqrt the number itself and here you need to display that square root square root is sq so children this is all about this question uh, this is the choice which is coming but you have not taken the choice so that's why this output is coming so here uh, what we have to do we need to receive the choice also so enter choice and that is a uh, choice is uh, ss dot next int ss dot next int okay we have entered the choice also so now that is uh, so children i have entered this choice and i have entered the number uh, 100 and it is square root is 10 you can see that and if the choice is second Suppose I have entered 67 and uh, sorry, the choice is second and number 67. You can see that it's a square is this. And after that, if you input the wrong choice, suppose you have entered seven, so it is the wrong choice. So program will terminate immediately. So this is how you have to attempt this question. Any doubt, any query, then please ask. Yes, children, please ask. Any doubt? Class 8th, if you have any doubt, then please ask, children. No, sir. sir no, sir. sir. No, sir. Yes. Yes, Purani, I would ask. So, can I please take a screenshot of the question which you have done? Uh, but uh, it, it is of the question paper. You don't have the question paper. Sir, I have the question paper, but I need the solution. The solution I am just going to post in GCR, no issues. Okay, sir. Solution I am posting, the solution of all, in fact. So, question number, this is which question? This is question number two I have posted. And then question number three also is there. So this is question number three. 
so question number three also I'm posting so this is question number three today's question number three and uh, one more question was there positive negative so that is this one so I am posting this question also in GCR and nevertheless I will post the class recording also so no issues okay right now next question is question number one to learn here VAP to enter the price of shopping and print the discount and final uh, amount. So after the discount, you have to input the price of shopping. So that is actually the criteria is given that if it is greater than 2500 then 25% if it is between 2000 to 2499 then it is the and if it is 1000 to 1999 then it is otherwise less than that so so you have to just follow this criteria so this is question number one so question number one now what to do is So how many variables are this is the variable for the amount this is the purchased amount or we can say this is p amount and here discount criteria this we need to calculate and amount payable this is what we have to calculate so discount also we have to calculate and amount payable also we will cal we will be calculating so now first of all we need to this uh, input what we need to take this uh, scanner so here i have taken this And here, after that, uh, enter, enter uh, purchasing, enter purchasing amount, and that is PMT is SS dot next double. And after that, you have to calculate the discount. So just focus on the conditions given. So children, it is saying that greater than 2500. So okay, just write if it is if PMT if PMT is greater than or equals to 2500. Children, here one thing is that if it is greater than or equals to because it is calculating up to 2499. So if it is greater than or up to this then discount percent is 25 percent so if you have not understood then please tell so in that case discount percent will be 0 0.25 i am just writing 0 0.25 because it is 25 by 100 so 25 percent means that it is 0 0.25 any doubt then please tell else if pmt is greater than greater than what if pmt is greater than or equals to 2000 2000 and uh, pmt is less than or equals to 2499 if this is the case Again, the discount percent will change, and that is 20%. So, here we need to write discount will be 0 0.20. Else, if 
now just focus on the very third condition which is 1000 to 1999 okay in a similar way pmt is greater than or equals to 1000 and and pmt is less than or equals to 1999 so if this is the case then discount percent is 15 percent i think let me check it is 15 percent okay so it is 15 percent so that is discount will be 0 0.15 and if none of the cases are correct then here it is 0 0.10 this is what this is how we have calculated the discount criteria so till now any doubt any query then please ask till then the very first condition is if pmt is more than 2500 more than or equals to one thing why i have put equals to because you can see that here the second range is up to 2499 so if the symbol is only more than so 2500 will get missed out so we cannot do that i hope you have understood and after yes, that sir, can you repeat what you said right now children actually you can see that here in this condition the first condition is greater than 2500 right yes sir. and the second condition yes, is 2000 yes, sir. So where this 2500 category will come? Not understood. Not understood. So in the second category it will no, come? No, no, no. It will not come in the second category. No, no, sir. In the third one because... Uh, not two, in four, the nine, third nine, one. Eight. Not in the third one. It will come in first category only. Greater than 2500. So if you have not done that, if you have included this in the second category, then also I will consider. But you cannot consider it in the third category because third. Sir, I have uh, sir I have uh, taken it in the first category only in the paper. Ah, so no issues. Okay, sir. Okay, after that now we have to calculate the discount. And how to calculate? So amount payable we have to calculate. So that is uh, amount payable is equals to amount payable is equals to what and that is uh, uh, pmt pmt minus pmt into discount so this is how you have to calculate and after that uh, simply you have to print kindly pay rupees this kindly pay rupees amount payable kindly pay this much so children this is the question and now uh, suppose it is 4500 so the discount will you will get after discount you have will get this much you need to pay one more thing children uh, you just you can display the discount also so it will be better to understand the things so here discount achieved is what pamt into discount percent this is what the discount now again just run this question and here you can see that if it is of 4500 so discount is of rupees 1125 and you need to pay this much rupees so if in case any doubt then please ask so i am again posting this question in the gcr so it is question number one of today's so here question number one i have posted so any doubt children class eighth no sir no, okay sir. now uh, no, sir. So further, I don't want to teach today, but few things I want to discuss. Uh, so here, uh, Agrima Gupta is here. Agrima. Agrima. Beta, you cannot speak. Beta, what is the problem with you? in comprehension and analysis and applications 
and even recall is also so please study properly please try to devote some time nobody will leave the session so please try to devote some time at home and take it seriously okay then it comes navya jain is here navya jain sunit jain and then uh, pushkar khatri is here pushkar agrima mishra आरएन पाटनी यस सर बेटा आरएन यू हैव ज्वाइंट विद अनदर आईडी सुधांशु सर बिकॉज सर आई एम आउट ऑफ टाउन सर सो व्हाट आउट ऑफ टाउन योर आईडी विल नॉट वर्क देयर सर आई एम वर्किंग विद अनदर फोन सो अनदर फोन और व्हाट ओके बट यू डोंट रिमेंबर योर आईडी सर रिमेंबर देन and what is the problem with you what problem you have sir actually sir my another phone which i have my id so it is discharged sir, what problem you have in writing the paper you face sir no problem so what then why you have not performed well child So the problem is just that you people are not serious. Still, you are not practicing at home. Okay, so please take it seriously. Adi Seta is here. Adi Seta, Nano Sonkar, Anish Aryan Singh, Anish Aryan Singh. दिव्या तुलसियान दिव्या तुलसियान इज देयर और नॉट श्लोक यादव अनन्या श्रीवास्तव अनन्या वॉट हैपन बेटा योर एप्लीकेशन एंड कंप्रहेंशन एंड एनालिसिस पेपर वॉज नॉट गुड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट कंप्रहेंशन एंड एनालिसिस फर्स्ट पार्ट Yes, What happened, beta? You are not practicing at home. Yes, please tell. Shlok Yadav is there. So, children, programming uh, needs a lot of practice, and you have to practice properly, seriously. So, don't take it otherwise. the more you will practice more confidence you will get and after you have got the confidence definitely you will be able to perform well in the next turn but the thing is you have to do well you have to practice programming is a, programming is actually an art and you all have to learn that art any problem which you fa are facing any topic if you want that i should teach one more time in any other separate or enrichment class so i will try to organize a session for you i will teach that thing please tell but you have to be very serious na child understood or not hello yes sir so please 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 so you all have to do that so i hope sir i have a query yes ask there is a program in java sir to find the uh, minimum number or the maximum number out of some like 3 hmm. out of 3 numbers you have to find maximum and minimum then what happened 
So, sir, uh, can this program also be written with AFLs? Yes, yes, definitely. I'm just going to show you. Just wait. Okay, sir. So here, uh, this can be written as so scanner. I have taken just define few variables. Suppose I have taken A, B, and C, and I have taken a small. I have taken large. These are the variables I have taken. And uh, now what to do? Just remove this part. So first of all, first of all, we need to input that so that enter number and that is a is uh, a is ss dot next int and b is ss dot next int and c is ss dot next int i hope i hope you have understood this yes sir and now what to do is that uh, if a is more than b then small is equals to b and large is equals to a right yes sir else if it is not the case then a small is equals to what the reverse of that that is uh, like this okay sir so the larger between two and the smaller between two you have got easily right okay sir yes sir and now what to do you have to just check that the, with the third one. So the element which you have got as the smallest, if it is more than any other, will get replaced by C. And if the element you have considered as larger, if it is less than the from the C, then it will. Done. We have done. Okay, sir. And here we can just print the smallest is uh, small and the largest is large and that is the largest is large this is what we have done okay sir so uh, do you need the explanation of this or you have understood yes sir i have understood anybody else who needs the explanation of this anybody who needs the explanation of this question should I explain? No, sir. Okay, now, no, sir. Uh, so, the children always remember programming needs practice and you all have to practice more and output based questions also need practice. So, computer is such a subject in which the, uh, in which the future lies. So, I think that uh, in the coming uh, years, when more competition will be there, so you have to be ready for that. Because in coming future, artificial intelligence, data science, and machine learning will acquire uh, the, I think that opportunities are there in that field only. So definitely you have to be careful, you have to alert, you have to just uh, focused, and you need practice. So I hope you all have understood now, uh, those who want and to ask any question, they can stay, otherwise leave the session. There will be a link in the GCR and there you. you people can post your attendance. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.